Good morning, everyone. Merry Christmas Eve. It is 10 a.m. on Christmas Eve, and I'm running to the store because everybody needs something and someone's got to do it. So I am, <laughs> I'm the volunteer to run to the store. Um, my car sits outside, so I'm dealing with frost on the windshield. You know, first world problems. <laughs> anyway, I figured while I had a minute to sit and wait for the car to warm up that I would just wish you guys a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday um, and a wonderful winter. And um, just thank you all for the support here on the channel and for all of your amazing kind words and blessings over the last few events in our lives. And um, I know that this is like, you know, in the car and stuff, but as a working mom, sometimes sitting in the car by yourself is the only time you get to yourself. <laughs> so I'm gonna use it as much as I can. My husband is working today. Um, if you guys didn't know, my husband is a law enforcement officer in this area. And so he works uh, a lot of holidays. Today being one of them, tomorrow another uh, day of work for him. So it's always interesting every year with holidays, we have to kind of like adjust how we do things and how our traditions work out, but we always um, manage to figure it out. And so at some point today, I'll be delivering him some breakfast. <laughs> um, and uh, hopefully getting giving him some holiday joy. So I'm headed to the store. I have a couple things I need to grab and then it is family time. We're gonna go home. We're gonna make a big family Christmas Eve breakfast. We're gonna decorate sugar cookies. We're gonna make gingerbread houses. I believe we're gonna be um, having, <clears throat> we're gonna be attending our church's Christmas Eve service today. And then um, we're gonna do some reindeer games like minute to win it games and um, and then watch our coveted holiday Christmas Eve movie, which is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It's what we watch every year on Christmas Eve before it's bedtime, and then Santa comes. So anyway, the point of today's little snippet of vlog was to just thank you guys for being here and being a support on the channel. Um, I absolutely love like making content and filming it and putting it out there and just connecting with you guys and I know I haven't for a while it's been kind of a roller coaster of like being able to like get motivation to film and edit and post things but just know that it is in my heart and I do I do miss it and I do enjoy it a lot so anyway thank you guys for watching I hope you have a fabulous fabulous holiday in fact you're probably watching this after your holiday so I hope you had a fabulous Christmas and holiday with your families and I will see you in the new year.
<laughs> Go ahead. So today is the official like first day after Christmas and like real winter break. Like it's not Christmas anymore, it's the day after and we're just gonna roll through. <laughs> so um, it's really early in the morning at seven o'clock and I'm actually headed to my doctor's office, my baby doctor's office. I had to get my, gluco my glucose test done today um, and then we're leaving town. So Scott and I are kind of like running around separately, getting things done. Um, I have to have this glucose test done before my next appointment, which is Friday, but we're gonna be out of town until Thursday evening. <laughs> so I have to do this today, otherwise they'll be real mad at me. Um, so he is actually, while I'm going to the doctor, he is heading over to my sister's house to pick up a trailer because um, while we're down in the valley visiting his mom and dad, we're gonna be picking up a few things from our old neighbor's house, Sarah. Um, they're giving us this really amazing uh, garage rack. And then the buyers of our house actually are giving us our barn doors back and we're gonna use them in our new house. So we're gonna pick those up too. Um, and it's our first time driving a trailer, like towing something. Um, Scott has driven plenty of like big U-Haul trucks before but it's our first time towing like an actual tow trailer. So it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna take us a while to get down there. Um, and then we're gonna drop it off out in Queen Creek where we used to live at our friend's property so that we don't have to drive around the valley with a trailer on our car because we're gonna be down there today, Tuesday, all day tomorrow and then most of Thursday. And we don't really wanna be driving that around and like parking it in neighborhoods. So we're gonna drop it off there and then um, go to Scott's mom's house for the next couple days and celebrate Christmas with them. And then Thursday before we come back, we're gonna spend the whole day with our neighbors, um, our best friends, Sarah, Matt, and the kids, and do our own little friends Christmas thing. Um, and then we'll come up Thursday night. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing all of these really important people. Um, but first things first, let's go get this blood test done and over with. So I am driving the Tacoma today because Scott is picking up that trailer and we're going to use the Forerunner to pull it. Not that this one wouldn't, but we have a little bit more indoor space in the Forerunner. So uh, we're going to take that down to the valley today. Look at this glorious um, windshield break. I think it looks like Playboy Bunny personally. Um, but anyways, so I'm driving the truck today. We actually really want to trade this truck in. Um, it is paid off. That was one of the things we were able to do when we sold our house. Um, and we still owe quite a bit on the Forerunner, but we're thinking when the house is done, we might trade this in for a bigger family car 
Um, we are investing in our own like tow trailer, like, just a little flatbed one so that we can like tow things around when we go camping. We don't need to like use the truck because this truck bed is small. It's a short bed Tacoma. Um, and so the, the, the truck bed doesn't really do much. I think we can honestly fit more stuff in my car. Um, but so we're thinking maybe a Tundra or even a Sequoia as an upgrade, but, um, we would sell this like by owner, um, before we did that. It's just a thought because this truck, um, as far as like children go, like it's very small in the back. Like you can see the car seat back there is very crammed. So when someone cash is sitting back there, whoever sits in the passenger seat is actually very squished. And, um, and I can only imagine what's gonna happen once we get a second car seat in here, it's just gonna be tight. So we're thinking when the house is done, which should be hopefully this summer, um, we can like sell this like by owner and then go and get either a Sequoia uh, used or a Tundra, so a bigger truck, just so that we have kind of a bigger um, vehicle for family life. So we're gonna have two kids pretty soon. No. Mm -hmm. Good morning everyone. It is Friday the 29th of December and I'm heading out bright and early. It's 8 o'clock. I have a doctor's appointment this morning um, with my actual doctor and it's in um, one of the like neighboring cities to Prescott so I have to drive a little bit farther than normal but um, that's fine. I have some gift cards that I need to spend over there anyway. So I'm gonna go to the um, doctor and then I'm just gonna run a few errands. I can go to the gym today. Um, Cash is going to winter camp with his Auntie B. So he'll be gone until three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, it's so great that he gets to go and spend time with her and like they have a ball, just adventuring in the forest. Um, so. I'm taking advantage of having the day to myself and I'm just gonna like just be and do the things that I wanna do today. <laughs> so that's my plan. I'm gonna go to the doctor, then I'm gonna go to Ulta, um, possibly TJ Maxx, and then I'm gonna go up to the gym, work out for a little bit, maybe take myself to lunch and then come home and just lay in bed for the rest of the day until Cash gets home. Because that sounds glorious. I haven't done that in a long time where I just like laid in bed and watched TV and like had a snack, just doing nothing. So I might do that today. It's so nice to actually be in a vehicle where you can listen to the music that you want to listen to because those of you that are moms out there, you know that when you get in the car with your child, especially if they're old enough to have their own opinion, that um, the music choices in the car aren't really up to you anymore. 
Um, Cash has pretty good taste in music, but it's still very like, you know, he's the DJ and I don't really get much say in what we listen to. Um, so it is nice to be able to sit in here and actually listen to music that I like and I'm the DJ. <laughs> All right, so I got here like 25 minutes early, <laughs> which is very like me when I don't have a kid <laughs> around. Um, so I'm just gonna hang out in my car and watch YouTube videos while I wait. Anyone else do that? Like you get there early just so you can chill and like do nothing. Alright, doctor finally came in and um, I passed my glucose test with flying colors. <laughs> I think my level was, uh, I don't even know like what these numbers mean, but I, my level was 79. He said my levels were 79 and they don't have concern until they're above 100 something. So he was not concerned at all about my glucose levels. Um, and then he did like check the heartbeat and all that stuff explained that I won't really have any more blood work until like like way further away um the strep B and all that stuff to come and then he measured my uterus and said that it's measuring a little bit bigger than he expected so he wants to do an ultrasound just to make sure that everything's good he said it could be like more fluid it could be the position of the baby it could be the size of the baby so he just doesn't like surprises and so he wants to schedule an ultrasound which is actually really funny because Scott and I were just talking about scheduling a 3d ultrasound down in the valley so that we could just see him because we haven't seen him in seven weeks which doesn't seem like that long but we want to see him <laughs> Um, but now that my doctor is going to do an ultrasound, we can cancel that one. Um, so, and I was like, is that like a bad thing? He's like, no, he's like, I just don't like surprises. He's like, I'd rather know everything that's going on. Um, so that I can make sure everything's good and, and do my job better. And I'm like, okay, well, I appreciate that. You know, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue with a doctor that wants to like cover all the bases and not have anything surprise him. So I appreciate that. And then um, he said that it's now pretty much time to start coming in every two weeks. So we scheduled out my my next like three appointments. Um, and so it is it is starting to pick up here. We're at 27 and a half weeks. And um, so we're entering the third trimester. So yeah, things are rolling. Um, Scott was actually sitting outside of the doctor's office, my husband Scott, um, in his work car because <laughs> he's um, on duty right now and I was at the doctor's office in his area. So um, he showed up and was just waiting out front because um, I told him the doctor wanted to do an ultrasound and he was like, he's like, should I be scared? Should I be worried? I'm like, no everything's fine like you know a dad he's gonna worry so anyway uh, we're gonna go grab breakfast real quick at chick-fil-a and then um, I'm gonna go and spend my gift cards and then go to the gym so it's nice that I get to go and have a little breakfast date with my sweetheart this morning you want everyone to see up your nose <laughs> All right, guys, so I just went into Target, which was my next stop. I went to Ulta already. I'll show you guys what I got. And then I ran into Target because I really wanted to get a shower caddy, like one of these. Um, because right now, living with my family, we share a bathroom with my nephew and his girlfriend, and there's a lot of stuff in there. And it's all over, like, the bathtub, like, rim. And it really bugs me because it gets like all gunky there. And so I really wanted to have um, one of those to hang all of my, like put all my shower stuff just so that it's hanging instead of sitting there. Um, so I got one of those and actually my gift card that I received from a student covered that. And then I also got a new cup. I refuse to pay the price for a real Stanley. I just can't do it. Um, 
but like I was saying earlier, this cup that I'm using right now, it's one of the reuse ones. Um, it's this guy right here and it's 40 ounces and I love it because I like having more to drink, like more water. I like having the 40 ounces, but the cup holder portion is just a little thick. So I got one of the, um, geez, I forget what they're called, but they're like the new Target. I don't even think, I'll show you guys when I get back to the house because I'm driving, but um, it has a thinner cup holder portion, I guess, if that makes sense. So I grabbed that and it was considerably cheaper than a Stanley would be. Um, I do have a Stanley, it's just a smaller one. And like I said, I like having access to a little bit more water. So I typically use the Stanley for like coffee um, or tea. So anyway, I got the new cup. Um, and so I'm gonna head home. I'm actually really tired. I haven't had any coffee or tea today. I try to do like some days where I just don't drink any caffeine because I know it's better for me, especially days where I'm not working. And if I can handle it without getting a migraine or a headache, then I will. So um, today I'm just running errands. So I don't, I didn't really feel the need to caffeinate. Um, so I'm feeling really sleepy. So I think I'm just gonna go home, get in my jammies, lay in bed and watch Outlander for a few hours until it's time to pick up cash at 3.30. It's only 11.15. Um, so I think I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna go home and like relax because I never do that. I never get to just lay in my room all day and watch TV. So I'm gonna go home and do that. Um, Okay, so we just came to our storage unit and put this new rack in to get all the stuff that was on the floor here up. And then now we have our barn doors back from our old house. The buyers decided they didn't want them, so we took them back. They gave them back to us. We'll have to do fresh paint and stuff. They got a little bit scratched, but hey, I would rather sand and repaint these bad boys and have them rebuild them. So we got, oh, that's a cute look. <laughs> so yeah, we have a lot more space now if we end up buying like just furniture or appliances, we can store it in here until the house is done. Careful. Baby! 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 